Hola, bonjour, konnichiwa. What's up, YouTube? Epic Sparks coming in with this airsoft pistol review. Now, this airsoft pistol is called the Powerline 15 XT by Daisy. This gun doesn't come with an orange tip. It's a CO2 pistol. And to insert the CO2, you take this off by simply pulling this up and then you insert the CO2 screw it on and put it back on snap that back on and you have it this isn't the only airsoft gun by Daisy called the power line there are a couple of more pistols and a couple of more rifles. There are a lot of power lines, which was sort of confusing because there was a lot of other names they could have made it. But I guess that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. Now, this gun is not blowback, so the slide isn't interactive either, so you can't pull back the slide at all. I have three hands, by the way. Three arms. Um, the hammer. This isn't a working hammer either, so can't pull that down. The safety is right beside the trigger. You just press that in, and when the red is out, it's ready to fire. Red is in. The trigger gets stuck. And most of this gun is metal which gives a nice feel to it you would think it would be heavy but it's probably about two three pounds which is actually a pretty good weight this just feels good in your hand the grip is user friendly which is very nice you don't find that on a lot of pistols um this the trigger is hard plastic so is this the trigger guard but the slide is metal so most of the internal parts are metal it's not most of the outside parts um this is a very powerful pistol i believe it goes up to 420 430 fps it's a pretty powerful pistol on the right side of the gun you have your warnings you know your basic warnings not a toy don't shoot at anybody um, don't aim it at anybody then it has directions directions put on safe load aim take off safe and fire <laughs> upside found pretty amusing here are the sights Pretty nice sights. The BB will most likely go where you aim. I haven't had any problem with the sights. When you shoot, there is a tad bit of vibration. With most CO2 pistols, it would be probably a shock, so that it's not not blowback, but like move it back a tad bit. Not even recoil, because they're airsoft pistols. This this pistol is sort of like. It's not as much shot pushback. Um, here's the accessory rail. You know, you can put your basic laser sights, you know, your flashlight on there, which is a pretty nice thing to add to it. This is a very nice pistol. I would probably have to give this pistol a as you can see right there I gotta say an 8 out of 10 here's the magazine it's a built-in magazine so at the bottom there's no mag you to insert BBs you just you know pull this back and then you will drop the BBs through there it can hold a capacity of a 15 round magazine um Sometimes I do find the BBs going by pretty quickly. 
I don't know why. Maybe because I'm, I'm not trigger happy though. You wanna, you know, you wanna take two second pauses between each shot for the longest range and the most power. I made a suppressor for my pistol. A nice little suppressor. So I just put that on my pistol when I want. Stick that in there. I lost my three arm a couple of seconds ago. So <laughs> not really. If you would like to see a video on how to make this nice beautiful looking suppressor, leave the comment down below. You know, don't forget to subscribe, like. Now this pistol actually don't have any problems with it. With most pistols you'll probably be like, ah, uh, it loses power too quickly. But it doesn't. That's the good thing about this, because Daisy doesn't usually make junk guns. The CO2 doesn't run out quickly. It'll CO2 will probably last me three or four days. And I shoot every day. So it's a pretty good pistol. Nice and powerful pistol. Um Yeah. There's nothing bad I can really say about the pistol. For being a non blowback, no. I just wish the hammer could have at least worked. I mean, come on. But that's probably the only thing I have a problem with. If this was a blowback pistol, this pistol would be perfect. But that's probably the only reason. I don't have a problem with built in magazines. I mean, if you're looking for a realistic pistol, this looks real realistic. I mean, like, look at this thing. If I flash this in your face, you would think this thing is real. So. Only non-realistic part is the built-in magazine, and that's it. This is a nice and powerful gun. You can find this for about $29.99 $29 to $40. $29.99 to $39.99. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for the best part. Let me show you what this pistol can do. I shall now show you the damage that this thing can do. Alright, without further ado. Oh, before I go... I want to show you guys one more thing. Now, before you're about to shoot, this thing is loaded, so I have to be very careful. When you're about to shoot, you see that? That comes out when you're about to shoot. And then it pops back in after you shot. That little metal thing. That's probably why you can't move the slide, because that does it for you. So that thing comes out and snatches back in real quick. Alright, now without further ado. I'm sorry for lying to you all. <laughs> it makes me so sad. No, I'm kidding. Let me show you the power it can do. Hola, bonjour, konnichiwa. Hello there, YouTube. What's up? Epic Sparks. Finna shoot some cans with my Daisy Powerline 15XT Airsoft Pistol. Using that CO2 cartridge. This isn't a fresh new CO2, but I probably wasted two or three rounds with it, so it's not that old. Alright, without further ado, let me shoot these cans up for YouTube. Yeah, y'all like that, didn't y'all? Ooh, look at it. It's going all over the place. Ooh, that's nasty. Hit that can four times. Look at that damage real quick. Let me show you that damage it did. It's went all over the place. Oh, so nasty. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, okay. That was disgusting. Oh, oh yeah, it's just gonna leak. <laughs> that was nasty. Alright. 
Let me shoot him a couple more times for y'all. All right, time to light some more cans up or whatever. Which can should I go for? I think I'm gonna go for that white one. Now I'm gonna light all of them up. I probably only have six BBs in here right now, so let's see what I can do. Talk about ricochet, boy. Sit down. Dang it, I'm out. So I took that Coke can out again, and I took the Coke Zero can out. If you all are wondering why I'm taking out these Coke cans, it's because Coke is freaking horrible. It's all about that Pepsi. Sorry for offending some of you. Don't dislike the video because of that. All right, time to take out that white one. All right, you see that white can over there? We have beef. Yeah, so... No, forget beef. We have milk. Everybody wants to take beef from a cow. I choose milk. <laughs> nah, let me take that can out. Can't go down. Overkill. All right, Let's check one more last time of what I did. What? Oh, I don't dude. I would shut this thing probably four times. That's a new can. This is just horrible. It's not too thick, but it's pretty thick. And this thing is just like freaking through. Oh boy, that's horrible. It's a pretty powerful pistol. That's one thing that I've learned. So, yep. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. And, you know, don't be scared to do any of that stuff. Because you just want to help some YouTubers out, you know? Alright, thanks for watching. Peace out, YouTube. Epic Sparks. Gone.